In Indianapolis, Hispanics are feeling the impact. News aides Camila Fernandez spoke with members of this community about the shooting that took so many young lives. Camila, what were they able to tell you? Two families, both with young children, they shared how they are thinking about the victims and their loved ones, and it hurts. Yesterday was my kid's last day of school, um, and it was a relief. The tragedy in Uvalde was the deadliest school shooting in Texas history, leaving 19 children and two teachers dead. It's, feo, no? it's horrible. It feels sad in the heart. 18-year-old Salvador Ramos opened fire at Robb Elementary. 90% of its students are Hispanic and about 81% come from low-income families. That is according to 2021 state data. Now in Indianapolis, Hispanics are thinking about the families impacted by the violence. When we see this happening, you know, even if it's in Texas, which is far away from us, we feel that pain. Claro, nosotros los hispanos of course, we Hispanics tend to be more united and give claro, opinions, millones. but I believe that the pain is the same regardless of the race. Indianapolis Public Schools parent Irma Perdomo has a nine-year-old daughter in elementary school. She says it's tough to wrap her mind around the tragedy. Con mucho miedo de no saber si Very afraid of not knowing if my school is really safe, if they are going to come back to me, if there's not going to be a person who is not going through good times and could make an attack of this type. Carolina Figueroa says her children are also feeling the impact. My kids, you know, saw kids that look like them and they're like, wow, you know, like they're, they're Latino, you know, or the shooter's Latino. Like they were surprised. Um, and folks in our community are very emotional. Now, one of the victims, Lucia Garcia, was only eight years old. Some parents told me how challenging it is to talk to their own children about these killings. Camila Fernandez, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.